So for this video, I'm going to be talking about rehearsal and practice. Practice and rehearsal. I'm going to be talking about these two and differentiating the both. And then telling choristers and choirs what they are doing wrong about this or about that. So just stick to the end of the video. My name is Alex Hugo. I'm a composer and I'm a multi-instrumentalist. And that, that is not important. So in this channel, I do videos about uh, African music, about Igbo music, Nigerian music, about music in general, choral music too, most especially choral music, and then about these beautiful instruments, the Oja, and many other um, Igbo instruments and African instruments. So if that is what, if that is the kind of thing that you you are interested in, you might you might you might subscribe if you want to. So. But for this video, I'm going to be talking about what? Practice and rehearsal. Now, practice is you getting from zero to somewhere. Practice is what you do on your own. Practice is what you do inside your house. And what do you do in practice? Assuming you are given a sheet of music to learn, what you do in practice is on your own or with a friend or something like that. That is where you learn the notes. That is where you you put in the words, that is where you, 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 you try to analyze a particular piece, that is where you find um, um, the best part of your voice to sing it with. That is what you do. Practicing is, is you trying to get a heck of the song, your own part of the song. Now that is an individual thing. Practice is an individual thing. Let me repeat it. Practice is what you do on your own, in your house, or in wherever you want to do it, on your own. Now, practice must be done before rehearsal. Practice what? Must be done before rehearsal. Rehearsal is what happens with the group. It is in rehearsal that we take what you have done and then we show you what to do with it. Rehearsal is where we take what you have already done and then you rehearse. That is, we now tell you what to do with this thing that you already know. So that means in rehearsal, you already should know the songs. You already should know the song that you, are, that you are rehearsing during the rehearsal. You should know it. So that when you come for rehearsal, you don't drag other people back. The music director focuses, or the choir master, they focus on bringing the music out of the sound. That is a choir master's work. A choir master's work is not to teach you, so, so, mi, re, do, fa. Go. No, it is not it. It is not it. No, that is not, that is not what the choir master's work is. The choir master's work is to take the sozo mire do fa that you already know and then tell you what to do with it and then tell you the music behind the sozo mire do fa. Tell you how to blend the sozo mire do fa, assuming you're a tenor singer, with the alto. Do you understand? Telling you the particular volume you are going to use teaching you the texture you use. Sozo mi re do fa, sozo mi re do fa, sozo mi re do fa. Teaching you exactly the texture that you are going to use for it relative to other parts. That is what you do in rehearsal. They teach you the music in the sound, not the sound itself. If you follow, if you click this video where I said that you are not a chorister, most of you watching these videos are not choristers. This, this video are not choristers. That is why this thing might sound foreign to you. A chorister is supposed to know how to sing solfa or how to read staff. You're supposed to know the literature of whatever art form that you're doing. Imagine being an English student or a linguist or an, you're studying the English language and you cannot read Y-O-U, U-A-R-E, R. N O T, not A A C H O R I S T E R, chorister. You cannot look at you cannot look at the sheet and read out you are not a chorister and then try to now make your linguistic and whatever jargons out of it. Then you are not you are, you are not you are not a proper literature student. You are not even a literature student. You are not you know you are supposed to be able to read the literature of the art form that you are doing or understand the literature. Uh, same thing with music. The literature of music, how it is written, is in so far in staff or in neums or in, in, in whatever. In, in, that for choristers, especially choristers in Nigeria, will make use mostly of so far. 
than star. So if you cannot read that, you are not, you are not necessarily a chorister yet. So that is the basics. So it is only when you can read soft and star. Ah, Nepa. We did Niger. Please, those are not Nigerians. You will not understand what I'm talking about. So for those that don't know, Niger just happened. They took the light. So as I was saying, <laughs> as I was saying before, I was very rudely interrupted by the, the light. Uh, you have to be able to read so far to be called a chorister in the first place. So I'm talking to choristers. So practice is something that must be done before rehearsal. And that is the root of most of the problems that choirs are having. Do you understand? From the fact that they don't have choristers, that's that they just have choir members, not choristers. Then to the fact that uh, they don't, the choristers, in quotes, or choir members, don't do practice before rehearsal. Now, even if you're a choir member, Go and do practice. Call one person, call your part leader, call somehow, find a way to do your practice on your own in your house before you come for rehearsals. So in rehearsal, they can then teach the music from the sound. Most choirs sing very monotonously. Like they just, they just sing a song. They just sing the notes and think that they've gotten the music. You've just gotten the sound. Like you've just gotten the notes. That is a skeleton of whatever you're doing. You've not created a human being or beautified it or put, on, put clothing on top of it with the skeleton that you are given. You just represented the skeleton and even poorly. So in rehearsals, that is where we fix that problem. That is where we make music. That is where we understand why the dynamics is in the way it is. That is where, that is where we, we understand uh, the soul behind the composition. That is where we understand how to then breathe life into this otherwise lifeless body that is the, that is the sound you get from the notation. You know, so I believe that if we incorporate, if we understand these two things, we will, we will improve both as a unit, as, as an individual, and as a choir. Because the individual, if you practice, the more you practice on your own, the better you are going to get. Practicing with the choir is not going to take you anywhere. So the better you are going to get. And then if choirs focus more on rehearsal than practicing during rehearsal, the better the choir is going to get. If you still not understood this, take this analogy in football. When players come for training, and this is probably Chelsea's problem. I mean, I'm a Chelsea fan. When you come for training, when players come for training, they are not taught how to pass the ball to begin with. No, they are taught what to do how to, like, what passes to make, since they already know how to pass. They are taught what passes to make. They are not taught how to run. They already know how to run. They are taught what runs to make. If, if teams, it is teams that focus on teaching players what to do with something that they have already been practicing. In training, players come and they, they practice their passing, they practice their running, and they do all this. Now, with those practices, that is what the coach now takes and then teaches them what to do with those abilities that they already have, how to integrate it with the team, how to blend it so that like a team like Bayern Leverkusen, see what they're doing, see what they're doing this season. Again, ha! Amma, be like I will stop this video. <clears throat> this one is a new record. So I was talking about Bayern Leverkusen before Nigeria happened again. <laughs> So a team like Bayern Leverkusen on top of the table on the Bayern League, on the Bundesliga, and it is because they are well rehearsed. That is what every commentator keeps saying. They are well rehearsed. That is what every sports analyst keeps saying. So it, it, a choir that rehearses well, that rehearses, not practices during rehearsal time, but rehearses well, that choir is going to be a very, very good choir. So um, please, from today, don't be so rude that you don't practice and come for rehearsals. And choirs, don't be so mediocre and very myopic by allowing people that don't practice to be remain chorus as well. Those people are choir members. So rehearse during your rehearsal time, practice during your practice time, practice for rehearsal, practice for your own self-development, practice 
Practice just for the joy of music. Just do your own thing. Practice. This choir master has stopped teaching so far in, 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 in rehearsals. Stop teaching so far. Teach music. It is because of this teaching so far in rehearsal. That is when, when someone, that's why when someone learns how to sing so far, they just become choir masters. Because in, in Nigeria, that is, that, that, is, that is what it takes to be a choir master, just now to sing so far. Seriously. Well, that is all I have for today. I want to go and eat. Go, go away. Go away. Go away now.